A bucket list isn't a bucket list without a traditional gondola ride. Our time comes to an end in Italy, but we got to finish up in the floating city of Venice. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to see future videos and enjoy. Good morning from Venice guys. I thought I would just do like a random quick check-in because the weirdest thing happened to me. I'm just in my hostel. At the moment we've got a lovely private room. Um, I've just eaten breakfast uh, using my hands and putting milk in my water bottle because they don't have a kitchen that's open here this morning. So this weird thing just happened. So I went to go put my milk in the fridge which is outside my bedroom and then I picked up this book. This is Time Space Existent, Venice 2018 and it's randomly open to this page. And it's the hostel I stayed in, in Karuguzaka in Japan, Tokyo. Like, I'm pretty sure that was my bed as well. Like, this is the weirdest thing ever. And you know, you see something, you're like, that was meant to be. Like, why did I open that page? This is just like my random morning train of thought. But like, I was like, why have I opened the page of this book above a fridge? And like, that just happens to be somewhere I've stayed before. Like, how fucking weird is that? Me and Grace were so exhausted yesterday. We went out for like a dinner. Cheap Aperol. I had. Aperol spritz for like three euros fifty. We're gonna go head over to like the St. Mark's Square and stuff to do so. I'm really excited. I'm I'm also quite sad that it's the final day tomorrow oh, and then it's like back to work and back to reality on Monday. Wow. I'll just give you a little tour of the hostel room. So we've got like a desk here. This was I think 63 euros for two nights for two of us. It's a private room in a hostel, which is about 10 minute walk from the station. And then we have this lovely balcony. So yeah, that's the square where we got cheap apparel last night. This is the room. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life First day in Venice, well like kind of like first full day and I'm really tired this morning so we've come to a cute little coffee shop and it's actually a lot busier than I thought it was going to be. I know Venice is like suffering from over tourism but post Covid I thought it would be very quiet and it's actually a lot busier than Rome and a lot busier than Florence was but I also don't know if that's because it's obviously a smaller place, there's lots of like narrow alleyways and stuff. I think we're staying in a student-y backpacker area because last night it was very cheap and already we've seen cappuccinos for like nine euros near St. Mark's Square but all the kind of blog posts that I've read said that like anywhere within like 10-15 minutes of St. Mark's Square is very expensive because it's just very touristy and weirdly we were like walking through St. Mark's Square and we just heard a lot of noise and it's graduation for Venice today so happy graduation day to them and yeah we're just gonna go explore and see what Venice has to offer so let's go explore guys Okay, so me and Grace have just been walking around pretty much all like morning. We are gonna go find somewhere to have some lunch. We have seen so many nice little spots sort of down here. What I didn't realize is that actually within Venice it is its own island, but then there's lots of other islands that you can get taxi boats or ferries to. It's just, it's just something like I've never seen before. It's really like breathtaking. And we found like being in St. Mark's Square, it was very tourist people heavy. And I don't know if that's because it's graduation, if that's what it's normally like. Obviously it's not as busy as it was probably before COVID. St. Mark's Square is like here. And we've kind of just walked down the river. Sorry if I looked creepy then. Um, we've just kind of walked down the river and seen some cool little spots. So I think we're gonna find somewhere to get some lunch from. It's very hot as well. I didn't even put sun cream on today and it's like 
28 degrees I think. So yeah, absolutely loving Venice. It's just such a cute little vibe um, and such a nice way to end the trip. Whoa. So me and Grace have found somewhere to have lunch today. We are having our spiral day, which is basically when meatballs like us are in Italy and we decide to spiral. So we, it's literally 1 p.m. and we're double puffed ready. We've got Heineken, Aperol, wine. So yeah, drunk gondola anyone? <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you can hear me because it's quite windy here, but me and Grace have come up with the terminology Stana one Hana, which basically is the phrase that you say when something is really pretty, like this. Like, imagine just being like, I live here with my plant pots on the river, in the canal with like my boat attached, like so beautiful. Me and Grace just keep stopping everywhere like this is the photo spot. But honestly, if you just keep walking around, you'll find so many cute little photo spots. And it's really quiet, like walk out of the center because that's what we've done. We've kind of walked to the other side and there's not really any tourists here. It's just so lovely. Okay, so we've had a nice lunch now, we've had a few bevs and we are just gonna walk around with no direction, which I 100% recommend doing, just like don't use Google Maps because Google Maps doesn't really work here either and it's literally just like side streets after side streets. So yeah, and then we're gonna go get a gondola uh, at like probably sunrise, no not sunrise, sunset. <laughs> sunset, sunset biscuit. And then we're gonna go get ready uh, for our final night and have drinky poos. We've just walked to this in getting lost. We have reached another freaking dead end. Grace is about to go swimming. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Good morning, guys. It is our final day in Italy. We are still in Venice and we are off to do a little day trip today. We're not flying till this evening, so that's good for us because that means we have the rest of the day to explore Venice. So we have actually booked a little boat trip to Murano and Burano, which is gonna last about four hours. It's kind of a hop off, see Murano, hop on, see Burano, and then back to Venice for two o'clock. And then we're gonna go ride the gondola. We were gonna do that last night, but it just got very windy. It looked like it was gonna rain, and I was like, I want a good uh, gondola experience. So yeah, we decided to leave that to today. And yeah, Burano and Murano look really pretty. There's lots of colorful streets, so I'm excited to see that. And yeah, let's, let's go have fun today, guys. have arrived on the island of Burano now. We're just in the first part of the tour, which is at some glass making place. Um, so we're just here for five minutes. I think they're gonna do a demonstration and then we can explore the island till about 12 o'clock. So we've got like an hour. Okay, so we've ditched the tour quickly because they were just taking ages. We were kind of waiting in the gift shop to watch the glass blowing, which is a traditional thing that's done here in Murano. And there's lots of kind of glass shops and it was quite expensive in there. It was like a mirror for like 750 euros. So I just thought we've only got like until 12 here, so we've only got about 30 minutes. So I was like, I'd rather go out and explore Murano a little bit than see a demonstration of glass blowing. So 
we're on the final stop of our tour. We're in Burano, which is famous for making lace. And if you notice, all the houses are really colourful. So the reason that the houses are all colourful is because... Yeah, sure. Oh my God, Grace is just not... Grace is just... Grace I'm is trying not, to get one photo. I'm just walking in the photo. Today. Yeah, today. So, I wanted to learn the history of... Because this island's really famous for the lace they make and Dane has made me miss the lace tour. Only because we only got 20 minutes in the last place to walk around. I'd rather walk around and get a feel for the place than watch someone make lace. But I told Grace she can go and make lace. but Yeah, so the houses are nice and colourful because in the winter it basically helps the fishermen find the houses, which I thought was really cute. So yeah, we're going to have a walk around, get some cute pickies and maybe try and find Grace some lace because she loves it. <laughs> and they do take away Aperol here, so I'm game for that too. Wow, my hair looks whack, but is this not the cutest street that you've ever seen? Definitely come and check out Verano. I don't think the rest of the tour has been that great. It's just been a bit rushed. It's been a bit, been a bit just kind of sat in the boat all the time. But yeah, this is Verano, and it's so cute. It's just lots of colourful houses. Okay, so you're in Venice. What is the number one thing you need to do? Of course, it's ride on a traditional gondola. It's quite pricey, but so worth it. We paid 80 euros for 30 minutes, which is standard. We were told that these prices are set by the council and there are over 400 gondolas in Venice. Just look for the red and white gondola stations all around the city. Okay, we were a little stressed for time, but we're on the gondola now. And this is a mighty fine way to and our trip in Venice. So he's even wearing a stripy shirt. So excited. Okay, so me and Grace Face are on the gondola now and it's so cute. And the guy is telling us lots of facts about Venice. Apparently it's very expensive to rent here, but it's considering how busy the streets are, it's so nice and quiet and chill here. And yeah, it's just really calm. So number one thing to do in Venice, guys, get a gondola and go out for a gondola ride because it's just adorable. I've also been quite imp oh my god my back's wet the fuck is that even focused hey guys so Dane here oh my god I'm being really cringy yeah, I've got Spice Girls hair today Grace's I've I've been uh, here, feel my toe Ew, uh, yeah feel no my way toe. no way because it's your toe oh, so oh it's a drawing question You're so fucking rude Oppa bonjour bon so yeah oh it smells a bit funny here or oh, Grace just pumped. You're the Hillary Puff. Hillary Puff. <laughs> Rude.